Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about how your tech devices, like your smartphone, can help keep you safe during summer travel. There's a lot to deal with when it comes to summer travel and travel in general. You gotta make sure you've got all your stuff packed like your toothbrush, underwear, clothes, tech devices, but you wanna make sure that you're using your tech technology smart when you travel to make sure that you don't fall victim to some sort of cyber crime because criminals know that when you're out traveling that you're gonna get careless and do something stupid that's gonna get your information stolen. Like I say in most of my videos, 99% of cyber crime requires user interaction means you've got to click on something or do something boneheaded in order for criminals to get access to your information. And when you hear about people have been hacked, nine times out of 10, it means they clicked on something they shouldn't have. So what should you do in order to make sure that your information is safe and secure? Well, you probably need to follow some of these tech tips to make sure that you are staying safe when you're on the road or in the air. Let's get started and talk about what you need to do. Number one is backing up that information. That means automatic backup. That means as soon as you turn your device on, it should be backing up. There's several ways that you can achieve this. None of them are free, unfortunately, anymore, unless, but you're still kind of paying for it. I was gonna say Amazon subscribers. If you got an Amazon account, did you know that you can back up unlimited videos and photos to your Amazon cloud account or Amazon Drive, you can. Just need to install that software on your computer, your smartphone, and it will back up that information to the cloud. I don't mean redundancy backup, but at least you have a copy stored someplace else. Other people like us iPhone users, even though I don't do it, you could use iCloud backup and pay Apple their 99 cents or $1.99 in order to make sure that your information is backed up. And of course, my friends with Google devices, you can do Google Drive and make sure that that device is backed up as soon as you power on that smartphone. Now, another thing you should know about backing up information is if you have a laptop. Now, most laptop users will use an external hard drive, but none of them plug it in. That's the key. So again, cloud backup is gonna be your solution and probably one of the best products out there to use. Not an endorsement by me, just facts is that you could use Carbonite, online backup for your Windows or Macintosh computer, unlimited backup for as low as $83 a year for unlimited backup. So if you wanna keep your data safe and secure, Carbonite's the way to go. Now keep in mind too with backing up, there's two different options. Now the first option that I talked about with your smartphones is cloud storage. Basically means that your information can be retrieved anywhere in the world. Now, cloud backup means that there's multiple copies of your file on some server somewhere in the cloud, wherever that is. But anyway, depending on your situation, cloud backup may be the way to go because you've got redundancy, probably more for your business people. If you're a casual home user, just use your phone for fun. Maybe you're just storing it to Google Drive or iCloud or your Amazon account would be the way to go and... Um, it will work as far as a backup is concerned because you know if you drop that phone in the ocean or do as I almost did a few days ago and let it fly out of my hand when I was on an amusement park ride, you want to make sure that data is secure so you don't lose all those precious memories. Next, my favorite graphic because it's a trap like Admiral Akbar in Return of the Jedi. Free Wi-Fi can be a trap. That's not to say that all free Wi-Fi is bad. That means that you need to be careful of the trap. Well, not necessarily. You need to be careful which wireless networks you connect to because they may not all be legitimate. So when you're out in your summer travels, you see free Wi-Fi, you can hop on it, but just be careful and verify the name of the Wi-Fi that the hotel or wherever you're staying is providing. Now, what if you're staying at an Airbnb? That poses a challenge in itself. I'm going to remember that because there's a way around that. 
Next is use that hotel app. I can't believe they posted that room on there. It's 8021. The poor lady. Good thing we don't know what she looks like or she's going to hunt her down. So anyway, use the app associated with your major hotel chain when you travel so that you can use the keyless entry feature. Criminals are out there trying to get into your room and do all sorts of nasty stuff. So if your key is loaded on your phone, it's going to allow you to stay a little bit safer because I've done it. I don't know how many times my hotel key has fallen out of my pocket. A little thin thing. I wish I had a sample to show you, but you all get it. But your my phone, if it falls out of my pocket, I'm going to know. It's got an otter box on it. so. But it's good to have that all in one place. Bluetooth technology works great. So if you're traveling, use that smartphone key to get in. And speaking of smartphones, gosh darn it, whenever you're out paying for something, pay with your phone. Apple Pay and Samsung Pay are great as far as making sure that your information is going to stay secured when you're paying for stuff when you're traveling. It's encrypted, which is good. Also, and I wish I had a sample on me, but don't, but I can show you. If you've got a credit card that's got the little wireless symbol on it, use that. Tap it. Tap it on that point of sale software in order to pay for things and make sure that your credit card information isn't going to get stolen. No offense to you mom and pop businesses out there, but the technology is available with Square and Shopify and other places for you to enable this option as well. Same thing with Clo Clover. Yeah, that's the one I'm thinking about. But yeah, when you're out traveling, use your phone or use the credit card to pay for everything. That includes gas and avoiding the ATM because credit card skimmers are out there. Skimmers are devices that will scan your credit card information, including PIN numbers, so criminals can come back, retrieve it later, and use it for their own goodness. Not sure you don't want that to happen. So pay with your phone everywhere, even at home. <laughs> Next is, it may be tempting to go to the business center at the hotel, but you don't necessarily want to do that because what if you forget to log out of your email when you're staying at the hotel? Or whatever public computer you decide to use, if you could decide to go to the library. Email, or our email, I don't know about you, I won't say it about me because I, I deleted a lot of stuff. I don't keep any of that stuff in my email. But a lot of you, and I'm looking at you, utilize email like a filing cabinet. You can't do that because you have precious information. And most of our email accounts are web-based. means that any criminal anywhere in the world, if they get your credentials, can log into your account and do bad stuff. So avoid those public computers at all costs because you don't want to... Have some criminal get in and get banking details or even your vacation itinerary. So keep that in mind. Next is the free Wi-Fi zone. Everyone talks about it when they're out and about. Free Wi-Fi at the B&B &B when you're out. Should you use it? I don't know. But there's a solution to that. And I'm going to show you, which is why I brought up the free Wi-Fi zone again. That is is there's two options actually so number one would be to get a wi-fi hotspot use your phone and um or one of these wireless wi-fi routers now the way it works is if you've got a hotspot it's just a direct connection with your cellular provider and your hotspot or your phone that way criminals can't see what you're doing when you're doing what you do on the web Another thing that you can use when you're tempted by the trap of free Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi zone is download a VPN onto your smartphone or computer. VPN is a virtual private network and that software creates a secure tunnel so that criminals can't see what information you're transmitting across the web. Because sometimes when you're on vacation, you want to check and see what your credit card or debit card balances are or just log in any financial account or social media account. Don't want to do it if you're just on some random Wi-Fi. You want to either use your hotspot or check your 
credit card bank transactions directly from your phone. But the problem is, is what if you have low cellular signal and you got to connect to Wi-Fi and then you're back in the same trap. So VPN would be a solution. Some popular VPN software out there would be NordVPN, TunnelBear VPN, and you can even use the web browser Opera in order to utilize a VPN to protect your precious data. Speaking of protection, when you're out and about, get some type of road assistance app to help you out when you're traveling because you never know when things are going to happen. Doesn't matter if it's a rental or if you're taking a road trip somewhere, have something that will get you help. Now, we'll tell you a quick trip, trick, almost said trip, trick, that your insurance app, sometimes if your insurance allows it, has emergency roadside assistance available. So even download your insurance app to make sure that you can call for help. Help if you need it now one last thing that i want to talk about is storing those documents in the cloud that you need to access on a regular basis now again we talked about cloud backup but services like onedrive and box and dropbox and a google drive are perfect for you to store your travel documents on because things happen and you never know when an incident's going to occur, if you lose this thing or your laptop or any other electronic device that you're carrying, if you store your stuff on the cloud, unfortunately, you may have to use that public computer to get access to your important documents. But you want to make sure that you have those documents or your travel documents stored just in case something happens to you or your device. because. Tech devices are still highly sought after and criminals still do take advantage of them. So keep that in mind. One final thing, and I didn't make a slide for this, but I've got to share this with you as far as your devices are concerned. One of the best things that you can do to protect your device is to make sure that you can find your device if it gets lost. Now, most tech devices have Find My Device built in. It doesn't matter if you're an iPhone user like yours truly, Android, you've got a tablet, you got an iPad, you got a laptop, whether Windows or Mac, you enable Find My Device before you head out on vacation. Because true story, I don't have my Apple Watch on right now, but last year, and it wasn't for summer travel, it was for winter travel, it was in Chicago left my phone at a restaurant got an uber taken off luckily my apple watch said hey it appears you left your iphone behind so was gone like three minutes phone was not on the table but the watch is saying it's here so luckily wait staff and management picked up my iphone and i was able to retrieve it things like that happen and i know i'm not someone to lose devices so it's a rare occurrence, but at the same time, if I didn't have that feature turned on with my Apple Watch and my smartphone, I definitely couldn't have found my phone. If I got back to the hotel, I probably could have located it because my phone had a full charge. But, you know, things happen. So you always, always have to be prepared. Isn't that right? So if you have comments or questions about things that you need to be doing that your technology can protect you leave it in the comment section below one other thing with the find my device did you know people can find you with your device so if you get lost make sure your family members have access to your find my device so that they can find you probably within i would say 10 feet it's a good way to track people and something else to consider Maybe you carry an air tag on you or a smart tag. Number one, so that people can find you. And then number two, make sure that you have the app enabled. So if someone tries to track you with an air tag, it could happen. You definitely want to make sure that it you get an alert so that the smart tag isn't trying to track you, especially if it's unknown. So something for you to think about. 
So if you liked this video, whatever you want to call it, um, be sure to comment, like, share it, share it, please. <laughs> and let your friends know that you got some awesome tech advice from yours truly, Burton Kelso. So like I always say, my goal with these videos is to open all of you up to a whole new world of ideas and experiences using your tech devices. I love technology. I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe, and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And be safe out there. And thanks for watching.